Hello everybody and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis. I truly hope that you are doing very well as you join me together as we are going to be going through the Bitcoin chart. I'll be giving you an update I'll be giving you an update on my last short position that I took as was mentioned in my last YouTube video. That short position has been compound now for around 2.5 million dollars, around $130,000 unrealized profits. I'll be giving you an update on this trade the targets that I have for this short position and what I'm looking for next, really just over the next 24 to 48 hours maximum, uh, exactly what I'm going to be doing with this trade. I'll be giving you a quick update on the space in general, uh, but really going to keep this one focused on the technical analysis because that's what you're here for. Uh, in a time where I see a lot of, I mean, toxic, toxic, toxic behavior right now, if you look on Twitter, if you look on YouTube, it's you know, the, the, the same names playing on people's emotions, uh, you know, causing a lot of fear. Really, it's it's quite um, no no comment. I won't go into that bit. All I see is right now a lot of people really trying to play on the emotions of people and cause so much fear. It's, it's kind of crazy. I am not going to do that. I'm going to do what you love me for and what I do best. And that's keep this video professional, concise and very focused on the technical analysis. As I've told you before, ladies and gentlemen, that's all we need to do to make money in this market. It's what I'm showing you evidence right in front of your face. Every day you come on to here, you're seeing me in more and more profits. And it's just because I'm trading the levels. While a lot of people are emotional and scared, I'm relaxed, I'm calm, I'm waiting for my next level, I'm executing, and well, the profits are right in front of your eyes. As I'm going to pick up right where I left off my last video, where I was told you I was waiting for the short here, just above $17,000 off of the VWAP. For those who paid attention, congratulations, as you will be sat in a profitable short trade right now. If you hesitate when coming up to this level, because this was a level I made you aware of, right? If you know what the VWAP is, if you you know, if you don't know what the VWAP is, of course, you can come over to the website and learn all about and educate yourself about these type of uh, indicators. But the VWAP was a level that we was ready and waiting for, ready and waiting for, <laughs> turning in for Jonathan Wass there. Uh, <laughs> um, you can see the VWAP was a level that I told you just above $17,000 at the time. Again, if you hesitate on these type of short trades, if you get scared to short as prices moving up, if you just don't really know what to do and you lack that confidence, well, this is obviously why we got a lot of people inside of the champions group because they like that bit of confirmation to say, yes, I'm still taking this short position. I'd just like to show you a few group through <laughs> of oh, my words today, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to show you a few posts with inside my group. You know, this is the confidence booster that people need to trade alongside me. And it's just, you know, during the whole day, you know, I'm still very much focused on that VWAP. Long time waiting for that VWAP, just above 17K, right? I got to ask another question. Do you still think we're going to 17K? I said, I'm going to remain patient for the VWAP. You know, I'm going to remain patient. I've been waiting for this all day. It's the level I've been talking about. I'm going to take this trade as an if and when it comes off of the reaction, all right? Patience finally paid off. We're talking about 10 hours after this video, a few hours after I reminded my team, just remain patient for this VWAP. The patience paid off. I confirmed to my team I've taken that short trade. If you don't understand Spanish, by the way, that says that the price of $17,004, 1 million contracts were sold, okay? Um, and as we can see, trading just works when you know what you're doing. As we hit that VWAP, and we got a we got a 2% drop in price, okay? That is the absolute high there off of that VWAP. Added another million dollars onto this Chart Champions Trading Challenge account. You can see now, you know, one day later, currently sat in around a $130,000 um, profit there. So just goes to show you, ladies and gentlemen, um, you know, the evidence is in front of your eyes while the market is totally fearful, totally emotional. You know, a lot of people absolutely scared to trade, scared to be involved. I'm not scared. I'm doing what I do best. I'm coming in here, marking my levels, taking my trades and making money. Love me or hate me. That is something that you cannot deny. I'm running this market right now. Um, it's, it's pretty fun to see. And it's obviously very fun to trade. Um, but yeah, for me, that is the last trade. And then that led us on to um, the local range that we obviously put in. So it's like, it's like I told my team, you know, waited all day for the VWAP short above 17,000. I'm not going to be scared to take that short trade now, as I confirmed to my team live in the time I have taken that trade. CC Pool, follow along. And we obviously got the drop in price down to the value area low over the coming hours. Then we got our next rise. We're looking here for the value area high. We're about 30 minutes later. We finally hit that. There's the value area high touch. Trade the range until it breaks. We just give us another short opportunity. From that short opportunity, we're obviously looking back down towards the value area low, which we have done 
over the coming hours. And now that's where we sit down and around now, where we pull this really nice pull at the moment. We can see this via Erido currently sat around $16,220. So currently, we've got a mini range within the larger range. Obviously, the mini range is this from the, the drop on the 11th of November around 2 p.m. But we've got this mini range within the larger range here. And for me, it's, uh, you know, I'm focused on the day trade currently. This is obviously just my day trade at the moment. And I'm looking, obviously, for this load to be taken out currently. Okay. And then I've got a few more levels that can take into place. OK, so there's a few things that we can be looking at here. If we get the rotation down to the low, which is obviously my first, first scenario, then I can be looking for this um, kind of swing failure pattern, failed auction type trade. Right. And from there, I can obviously look for this scope long back up to my range high around 17K. OK, if we do find support within this mini range, again, as a professional trader, I'm aware of every single possible scenario. That doesn't mean I'm trading everything. It just means I'm aware of each scenario, a bullish and a bearish scenario. But I'm only going to trade the highest possibility, the highest probability. OK, so for me right now, there's no trade setup. I wouldn't trade where it is now. If I get that swing failure failed auction, then I can take another trade. If that doesn't happen, then I can look down towards my next levels, which you can see marked out here, 15,866 down to 15,318. Okay. And then above me, I still have that 17K psychological, 17,140 up to the daily here, 17,555. So within my internal range, I've got some important levels marked out, levels that I'm ready and waiting for. And, you know, just once again, I'm not always going to be just trading at any random place. I'm very patient waiting for my just to remind you very patient waiting for my trades when those high probability trades hit i'm not scared i'm taking the trade as i was telling you and you know well patience pays off as you know what you're doing we see that that nice drop in price and then for me now it once again requires patience if you want to um, get involved in these trading updates that i post live in the time for my group this is obviously what you can get from the uh, live trading sort of feature at chartchampions.com. Tonight, I actually have a champions live stream where I'm going to be going over the higher term time frame on Bitcoin. I'll be giving you high term time frame analysis, maybe even my Elliott wave count on the higher term time frame. And I do think we're coming down in wave five at the moment. So if you're interested in the bigger picture in the high term time frame analysis, that's what I'm going to be going over tonight, including my personal bias and how I'm managing my spot assets, how I'm managing my portfolio in that regards. I'll be covering that in the Champions live stream tonight. OK, you can see here, obviously, this is time zone dependent, um, but obviously I'm living in Colombia. So this is 2.30 for me, but UK time is 7.30. Um, but yeah, that will be, you know, if you miss that live stream, you can watch it back whenever you want. It's it's an on demand, much like Netflix. So if you want the education, if you want to learn about the VWAP, for example, this Fibonacci levels, Fibonacci time, well, we've got all the education inside our course, right? So from the courses, and then if you want the live trading, we got our live trading weekly streams. And if you want the live updates in the time, if you lack that confidence to take the trade, um, you know, these, these little things can obviously act as, as assistance. So I'm going to wrap the video up here. I've given you an explanation of why that high was put in exactly as we were looking for, how I executed and updated my team, and that I've got a champions live stream tonight if you're interested in getting the higher term time frame analysis. For everybody else, I hope that you've thoroughly enjoyed. You know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and uh, get ready for the next update because as you can tell, I talk about a level and they get respected. So everybody that paid attention to that, I hope that you've enjoyed and you currently sat in another winning trade alongside me. So <laughs> what more can I say? Hope you've enjoyed. Thank you ever so much. I will end with that actually. Block out all the distractions around you, like all this sort of news, all this sort of fud, all this sort of people playing on your emotions. It's it's always happened, but obviously right now it's even greater. And, you know, if you, I think I can show you with the results and evidence in front of you that if you block that out, trade the charts, there's, there's money to be made in, in every type of market environment right now. Uh, so I hope that you've enjoyed. Thank you ever so much. And I'll catch you in the next video. Of course, I'll end with the legal trade disclaimer to end. No financial advice in this video. Do your own research. The trades on paper demo trade accounts. Cheers, everybody. And goodbye.